Hello and welcome. It's good to be back. Boy, did I miss it here in Docklands. With me in the box is Richmond Titan Matthew Richardson. Hi Dennis, always a pleasure to call a game with you. Even though it's an exhibition match, Dennis, we expect that both teams will want to win. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. We have the toss of the coin. The Western Bulldogs kicking with the wind in this opening turn. I can't wait for this match to get underway. I've had sleepless nights dreaming about this clash. Nothing like an opening bounce, right Richard? Leadership like coaching is fighting for the hearts and souls of men and getting them to believe in you. Picked up by Murphy. And he's heading for home. Ball goes over the line and out of play. The ball is in the air. Ruffhead gets onto the ball, able to grab it on the half volley. Quick kick out of the pack by McRae. The mark is taken by McLean. Bumps the big skin. Hunter gets the upper hand. Kicks. The ball spills to Roberts. Ruffhead just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. Cruiser gets a fist to it. McRae picks it up. He lays off the pass. Kerno gets a fist to it. Casbolt has a kick. Carlton by a point. He's searching for his teammates. Nice hands. Biggs with the kick. Great mark. He puts some power into that kick. McCraig wins the marking contest. Boots it. Cleanly picked up, handballs. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Cherno slams it on the boot. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. Tom puts boot to ball. Taken by Silvani. Going for goal number one. He's missed the goal. The Blues by two points. Morris can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Hunter passes it. Biggs scoops it up. Graham mops up the ball. He picks it up cleanly. He slams that on the boot. Silvani taking aim. Silvani takes aim for goals. The Blues get a goal on the board first. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Kruzik with the punch. Cherno controls. He's got the football now. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Boots it. Murphy takes it well. This will certainly test him from this distance. Gathered by Roughhead. Cherno gets the ball out of the pack. Puts the head down as he runs in. He was celebrating the moment that left his boot. Gets his first. That's two in a row for Carlton. The Western Bulldogs already trailing by an uncomfortable margin. Bounce goes the ball. Roughhead punches it. Scoops up the bouncing ball. Winning the tackle count is a key ingredient for success. But you have to win the contested ball and hit your targets first. And the Bulldogs haven't been able to do this. Cruiser just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. Kruzik really gets onto this one. 
The ball mopped up. Picked up the ball. His foot finds the ball and brings it out of the pack. Graham just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. Johannesson gets the loose ball. Kerno intercepted that well. Petrevsky seaton receives the ball. The ball is out of bounds. Claimed by Cruiser. The loose ball scooped up. Grips a good drummer. Finding the running player. Booted by Roughhead. It was all his. Gets boot to leather. Hands like dinner plates. McLean kicks. Liberatore with the mark. Liberatore. It's just a real slippery customer if you give him any space. He gets boot to the ball. Kerno marks it. He's got a hold of that one. Simpson really forced to earn that mark. Out of bounds it goes. Boundary umpire will throw it in. You can see the determination on the Ruckman's faces. Tapped by Cruiser. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Kicks. Simpson takes the mark. Sends the Sharon on its way. Wood gains possession through the interception. Sweeping handball. Goes towards half forward. And the ball crosses over the boundary. A lot of jostling as the boundary umpire puts the ball back into play. Murphy with the ball. He's out of room and he has to cross the boundary. Here we go again. First hand's important. Bounces favorably for Boyd. He runs into the goal. Nice hands. 45 meters out. Dalhouse going for number one. Drifts wide to go through for the behind. The Bulldogs is starting to drop behind. Jones is a great kick, and if he can maintain that accuracy under pressure, he'll elevate to the elite category. Wright gets it off the ground. McRae gathers the ball. It's a ball up. Rough hit with the tap. Lucky bounce collected. He boots it from the pack. He sneaks away for an uncontested mark. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Bumps the big skin. Cherno presents and takes the mark. There's a vast chasm between him and the goals ahead. Bad kick, resulting in a free to the Bulldogs. Wood sends one up towards the wing. Taken by Dale. Dale can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. The ball crosses the line. We'll get a ball in. It's tapped down nicely. Wright gets the footy. He boots it. Casbolt takes the mark uncontested. 45 metres out. Almost in bag from this position, you would think. Football is not and never has claimed to be a fair game. Carlton with the upper hand in this match, and it shows on the scoreboard, leading 15 to 1. Cherno sweeps on the loose ball and will have a change of possession. That's a very well executed goal. That's three in a row for the Blues. The Blues by 20 points. Here's the bounce. Ruffhead hits it with the ball now. Kruzik, you gotta pass the ball. Not a pretty drop pump, but it gets away okay. Chips it down towards half forward. The mark is taken by Roughhead. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Dalhouse picks up the bouncing ball. The umpire will ball it up. Clean tap by Cruiser. Lucky bounce collected. Handballs. Booted by Murphy. Boots it. Marked by Roberts. Roberts is really good at reading the play out on the field. He just needs to start doing it faster. Fisher with the ball. He slams that on the boot. A great mark under pressure. Puts boot to ball. Picken takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. That's a mark. Boyd urged on by the crowd. Prepares to kick. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Sending it on its way. Kennedy, with good strong hands, choose to kick it. A mark by Bright. Choose to kick it. I guess it was worth a go. He has clearly been shopping at Clangers or Us. We'll get a ball up. 
It's tapped down nicely. Kerno going for home. Biggs, just the better man in that contest. Sending it on its way. He grabs it, lining it up with the goal now. He slams that on the boot. He gathers the loose ball. Kasbolk starts in, his shadow beside him. Where else would it be? Well, depends on the side. The Blues lead the Western Bulldogs by 21. He's searching for his teammates. Plays on. His kicking is unbelievable. Some people don't go that far for their holidays. Kruzik looking to make them pay for that turnover. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. The Bulldogs just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Dalhouse takes the uncontested mark. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. He wins the contested mark. Boyd going for number one. Perfect kick. The Western Bulldogs in trouble. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Bounce goes the ball. First hand's important. The ball in the hands of Wright. He gets the hand pass. Puts the head down as he runs in. Now that miss could prove costly. And the points continue to pile up. It's certainly contagious. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Spears a low ball, has he? Yes, he's paid it. Kicks hurriedly. Nice mark under pressure. Clears it. Nice contested mark by Roberts. Roberts sends one up towards the wing. As we get into the break, the scores are the Blues, 23, the Bulldogs, 7. Carlton have definitely come to play. They are looking very confident leading into the first break. Richo now with his stats. Not a lot of difference in the tackling stats. The Bulldogs are slightly ahead with 20 to 19. Thanks, Richo. A quick break and we're back at it. If you aren't going all the way, why go at all? Kruzik directs it down. Cherno sticks out his hands and collects the ball. Ball up in the centre square. Ruffhead gets the tap. Murphy, a good crummer. Cripps has finally come off, and he's heaving like a crazed tuba player. Ruffhead punches. Boyd gets the ball. Umpire calls for the ball. Kruzik punches it. It'll be a ball up on the outer wing. Rough head, got a really good footballing brain. Wietering, gathers the ball. Boyd, collects it. Head down, going for goal. Dalhouse, with a strong mark. Dalhouse, with the shot, straight into the woodwork. I reckon he's a little bit unlucky there. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult, so I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Wins the hard ball. Boyd setting his sights on the goals. A pretty safe bet from this position. Boyd lets fly with a shot at goal. The Western Bulldogs get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. That's two now. He's playing well. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. The Rucks can't complain about that true bounce. Kruzik didn't even get close to that tap. Murphy with the ball. Gets boot to leather. Out of bounds near the 50. It'll come back from the boundary line. The umpire has thrown it in. Kruzik wasn't even close to that tap and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win any time soon. Kruzer knocks it down. Silvani gets the loose ball, he kicks the ball, the mark will be paid. Biggs boots it, Casbolt claims the ball. Casbolt takes a shot, that's a great goal. Carlton by 15 points. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. He gets the hand pass. That tackle clearly above the shoulders. Kennedy boots it, stuck the mitts out and held on to it. 
Kruzik slams it on the boot. Nice work from Kerno. Bumps the big skin. And the ball goes over the boundary near the 50. The Ruckman jostle for position. Ruffhead, I've seen better swings on a condemned playground. Dances around the boundary line. Johannesson grabs that one. Look, the Bulldogs haven't been able to set up many shots at goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. He kicks the ball. Good mark. Kerno puts his boot on it. Thomas with the ball. Jams it on the boot. A great effort. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. 50 metres from home. Out of bounds in the pocket. The throw is accurate. Cruiser gets onto the ball. A good job keeping it in play there. He gains possession. Border control will be keen to look at this trafficking. Simpson marks. Works it across the ground. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Roberts has so much potential, he could just be anything. Kerno collects it. Liberatore sharks the ball away. Dale kicks it. A nice contested mark. Dalhouse might struggle for this distance, kicking from about a 30 degree angle here. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. The Bulldogs has dropped more than two goals behind. Jones will take his time. He doesn't want to see it turn over and come back straight over his head. Kicks. Spilled by Kerno. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. He hand passes the ball. He's running hot, Richard. You're right, Dennis. He's an absolute ball magnet. Kruzik is getting the ball again and again. Johannesson takes advantage. And the ball crosses over the boundary. Empire calls for a boundary throw. Both Ruckman standing their ground. Kruzik without a touch. The clearance by Roughhead. We get a ball up on the wing. The Blues have just been really well organised and courageous in the centre, and that's why they've been winning the ball. Wright puts his boot on it. Murphy takes the mark, sending it on its way. Strong mark there. He kicks the ball. Johannesson with the ball. He gets boot to the ball. Fontenpelli takes the mark. Kicks beyond the wing. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Hunter obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. Doherty with the kick. And the ball goes out of bounds. A good fist. He gains possession. Johannesson mops up the ball. He scoops up the loose ball. Pontempelli puts it on the boot. Strong mark by Hunter. Sends the Sharon on its way. Wins the hard ball. He hand passes the ball. A clean pickup is in his possession. Hand pass by Doherty. Murphy boots it. Almost a touch of synchronised swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. The Carlton big men are not pulling down many marks inside the 50 with most of the Carlton scoring opportunities coming from shots on the run. Misses for a behind. Needs someone to break hard. He's ready to bring it back into play. Petrevsky Seaton. Just gauging which way that wind is going. Petrevsky Seaton pulls the trigger with the ball sailing for goal. The Blues starting to exert some dominance over the Western Bulldogs with a lead of 36 to 15. Nice bounce. Kruzik directs it down. He has the ball. Clean hands with a difficult bouncing ball. Hunter puts it on the boot. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Right. He's got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him. But he just needs to react a little faster. He lays off the pass. Kerno heading in now. Score for the Blues. The Blues lead. The Ruckman steal themselves before the bounce. The umpire has bounced the ball. Cruiser hits it. He has the ball. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Roughhead without a touch. The clearance by Cruiser. Ball up in the centre square. Cruiser gets the tap. Cherno gathers. We'll have another ball up. Kruzik directs it down. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Kerno, it's a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead. 
so he can make the right decisions more often. Strong mark there. He boots it. It's a mark. Petrevsky Seaton lines up. Petrevsky Seaton taking a chance at goal. No good. Carlton leads by 28. He has a few options. A good mark under the circumstances. 30 metres from home. Picked the goal by Silvani. It's hit the post. It's a behind. Well, that puts another behind on the scoreboard. The Blues lead the Western Bulldogs by 29. Morris looking for a lead. Silvani with the mark. 30 metres from home. A chance to add one more to his tally. Nice kick. The Blues in front. Umpire has the ball, ready for the centre bounce. Kruzik outstretches his opponent to win the right. Rai controls it. He picks up the loose ball. Bontempelli sends one up towards the wing. Dale is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. McRae kicks it. Just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. He boots it. Rai with a strong mark. He boots it. He takes a strong mark. Wood kicks hard along the boundary line. Strong mark. Slams it on the boot. A good mark under the circumstances. Bumps the big skin. Taken by Dalhouse. Kicks into the forward line. Jono takes it well. He has a mighty kick at the footy. Collected by Wood. Liberatore with the pickup. Dale has had plenty of it, Richo. He seems to always be in the contest, Dennis. Kicked by Bontempelli. Bicken has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Jams it on the boot. He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. Keno kicks. Kennedy takes it well. Kennedy obviously loves playing for the club. I can't imagine him being anywhere else. He kicks the ball. He gets the upper hand. He kicks the ball. Suckling with a strong mark. He's got a hold of that one. It's out of bounds, across the boundary on the wing. The boundary umpire has called for the footing. The ball going back to the players right now. Kruzik with the punch, takes possession. My ball, says the umpire. Good tap from Roughhead. He controls the bouncing ball. Chips it down towards half forward. A good second turn with Carlton, 50, versus the Bulldogs, 15. Part of the reason why Carlton, it's a really even strong squad at half time. The Western Bulldogs are tired and the competitive edge isn't there. Let's have a look at the stats. Two teams, practically identical in stats, yet the Blues managed to be miles ahead on the scoreboard. Enlightening, Richo. We're halfway through this match and things are getting interesting. The players have been down to the rooms now and they would have had some treatment, a talk from the coach and should be ready for another half of football. I know we are. How you respond to the challenge in the second half will determine what you become after the game whether you're a loser or a winner. Jones kicks it. Drops the ball. And the ball goes sailing out of bounds. The Blues sending out grips. It'll be the umpire's ball. Umpire throws the ball in. Roughhead taps. Able to grab it on the half volley. McLean has the ball. He's really a ball magnet. The bouncing ball is controlled. The loose ball picked up by Dell. Lobs the handball. He's got the head down as he charges home for goal. The Western Bulldogs, they're just being completely humiliated right here. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. And there's the bounce. Tapped by Roughhead. Wietering. Made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Choose to kick it. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Boyd puts it on the boot. That decision was like taking a beer to a job interview. Not a very good idea. Boy, he's creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Sending it on its way. It's a mark. He steadies now in front of goal. Boy, goes for home. 
misses four behind. You've heard the expression shooting fish in a barrel. Well, this is shooting fish in a fish market. Jones to bring it in. Pickett grabs that one. Kicks. Simpson has it. Sends the Sharon on its way. Choose to kick it. Right with the mark. Puts good to ball. Well, you get the feeling the Western Bulldogs were only half-hearted in some of those contests. Yes, the Western Bulldogs haven't given away many free kicks, but it'd be nice to see some more aggression out there. Kerno heads in for the goals. There's no contest for that mark. He gets boot to the ball. Good mark. A low kick from Biggs. A nice uncontested mark for Morris. Gets boot to Leather. Great grab. Gets boot to Leather. Takes it well. Roberts kicks it. Bonton Pelly with the mark. Lucky bounce collected. Murphy with the pass. Ruffhead wins the tap. Terrible timing by Cruiser. Picked up by Kennedy with the ball now. A great effort. Lining up the goal now. Picked by Boyd. Almost a mark, but it bounces off his chest. Forward momentum. His enemy there as he crossed the line. Ruckman hard at it. Clean tap by Cruiser. The loose ball picked up by Wietering. Bonton Pelly is just one of the best tacklers in the game. You don't want to see him charging towards you. A good fist. Dixon picks it up. He picks it up cleanly. The umpire will give us another ball up. Ruffhead gets onto the ball. Boyd controls it. Going for goal number three. He's having a ball. If you'll excuse the pun, Boyd makes the hat trick. All is in readiness. Methodically, the umpire bounces it beautifully. Is in his possession. He gathers the loose ball. Handle finds Dale. Gets boot to leather. Takes the mark all by himself. Dalhouse will have to put everything into this one. A chance to add one more to his tally. The Western Bulldogs get a goal. The Bulldogs could score the last three goals. Momentum shifting back their way now. Cruiser gets onto the ball. Roberts with clean hands for a difficult bouncing ball. The conduct of the Bulldogs has been first class. The Bulldogs have barely given away a cheap kick. However, the coach would probably like to see the players attack the contest more fiercely. Kerno takes a shot. It's going. That miss is going to come back to haunt him. He'll be looking to spot the player on the burst. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Gets boot to high. Marked by Biggs. Kicks. Cherno takes it well. That had some power behind it. A good mark under the circumstances. 40 minutes from home. Silvani has a shot. It's a question of accuracy. 30 minutes from home. Petrevsky Seaton kicks for goal. It shaved the post just so close. The Hines outnumbering goals this match for the Blues. He may just play onto himself here. The options are few and far between at the moment. Gets boot to high. He has clearly been shopping at Clangers or us. The ball finds its way into the grateful clutches of the opposition. Biggs kicks. Right marks. Right. He's one of the most astute decision makers in the game. Footy is becoming more and more a thinking game. And you can't be out there purely on physical ability. He's a great asset to his club. Doherty with the kick. Liberatore marks it. He slams that on the boot. McRae with an easy mark. Puts boot to ball. Nice hands. He gets boot to the ball. No one around troubling him there. Trims the grass with that one. McLean in no hurry as he prepares for the kick. A risky proposition from here. You'll need a big kick to make the goals. He's kicking from a 45 degree angle. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. Thomas kicks it. Taken by Bontempelli. Kicks beyond the wing. McCraig marks it. The Bulldogs just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. McLean takes the mark. He gets boot to the ball. 
He gets boot to the ball. Slips through his fingers. Rough head. Puts his boot on it. Jones gains the loose ball. Wall up call. Cruiser gets onto the ball. Jones made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. Kicks. A great effort. Wietering can achieve anything he sets his mind to. The sky is the limit for this guy. Right. Slams the ball to his boot. Thomas boots it. He gets it under pressure. Puts boot to ball. A good contested mark there. His kicking is unbelievable. Some people don't go that far for their holidays. Graham gathers it. Head down now as he goes in for the goal. Morris gets it out of the crowd. Murphy, the better man there, sends it on its way. Nice hands. Low kick. Bonton Pelly claims it. The Western Bulldogs just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Biggs by hand. He kicks the ball. Boyd with the ball. Sending it on its way. He marks the ball. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. He gets boot to the ball. Strong mark there. Dixon going through his routine. Unfortunately, they made the grass very short. Tactically, this way. Goal. The Western Bulldogs have scored the last four goals. They've lifted their intensity. Cruiser is the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. McRae kicks the ball. Pickin with a strong mark. He boots it. Great move to be able to work into an uncontested position. Gets the loose ball. He just can't get out of the action. Thomas feeds it wide. Taken by Fisher. Jams it on the boot now. A good mark under the circumstances. Kerno. Well, only one thing for it. He's got to put in some extra hours to try and get those shockers out of his game. He's kicked that straight into the confectionery stand out on the full. He kicks it. The Blues starting to exert some dominance over the Western Bulldogs with the lead of 53 to 40. It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, the Western Bulldogs might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. That's an elite skill handballing when being tackled. Perno put a miss. Lots of points now for Carlton. Carlton have the edge over the Western Bulldogs in this match. Biggs ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. He has a mighty kick of the footy. The ball bounced to the advantage of the opposition. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. Simpson, you know they define insanity as someone doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. Biggs grabs that one. Jams it on the boot now. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. 50 metres from home. Going for goal number one. It goes through for a behind. The Blues lead the Western Bulldogs by 16. He has a few options. He opts to play on with the ball. There's the siren for the end of the third quarter. The scores at Carlton, 56 to Western Bulldogs, 40. Well, they're still in it, but they need something to ignite them in this last quarter. They can't expect their opposition to hand it to them. Is there anything interesting in the stats, Richo? The handball stats show that the two teams are fairly even with Carlton on 28 and the win. The players are starting to feel the strain of the first three quarters now. Push yourself again and again. Don't give an inch until the final siren sounds. Cruiser kicks. Collected by Biggs. Border control will be keen to look at this trafficking. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. And the points continue to pile up. It's certainly contagious. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult, so I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. The bouncing ball is controlled. So well timed. Slams it on the boot. Murphy with the mark. Slams it on the boot. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. 
bumps the pigskin. Oh, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Bontempelli just has hands that are magical. He just takes the ball so cleanly. Just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. It gets tapped. He picks up the loose ball. Passes by hand. Rough head. Kicks it. Doherty drops the ball. We get a ball up on the wing. Kruzik really gets onto this one. The loose ball scooped up. Thomas with the pickup. He's really a ball magnet. Takes it well. Here's a chance for Petrovsky Seaton. Cherno takes the mark uncontested. Concentration comes out of a combination of confidence and hunger. So they tell me. Cherno kicks the goal. The goal eludes him just wide of the target. Carlton with a comfortable three-goal lead. Well, fortune favours the brave. It's time the Western Bulldogs stopped playing safe with their possession and took the game on. Thomas intercepts the bouncing ball. Johannesson gains the loose ball. Well, it'll be a ball up right near the boundary line. Ruffett directs it down. Casanova would have been jealous of that picker. He collects the loose ball. He's got the football now. Goes by hand. Jams it on the boot now. Takes that one strongly. He'll need his Saturday or Sunday best from here. Goes for his 50. The ball goes over the boundary in the pocket. Shoulders locked, eyes on the ball. Kruzik aims for his man on the ground. Casanova would have been jealous of that picker. Wietering, got under it. Gets boot to leather. Marked by Murphy. Boots it. Strong mark by Kennedy. Kennedy, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. So defenders will have to be on their game. He grabs the ball. Biggs gets the loose ball. Kasbolt nails him. That's holding the ball. Kasbolt with the kick. Petrevsky Seaton with the mark. 30 metres out. Petrevsky Seaton with the shot. He gave it a crack but it sailed wide of the goal. Too many behinds on the board for the Blues. Morris gets set to kick it back in. He kicks it to himself. Morris kicks hard along the boundary line. Biggs putting some power behind that one. Hunter has had plenty of it, Richo. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. He's had lots of touches this match. That's a very bad kick. Bontempelli claims the ball, puts boot to ball. Hunter, with real good use of the body, he slams that on the boot. Murphy, with the mark, he kicks the ball, he marks the ball. Booted by Cruiser. Pointless attempt by Johannesson. Off the ground. Graham has had plenty of it, Richo. You're right, Dennis. I've just about run out of things to say about his performance. I'm just going to watch and enjoy this display. Carlton by 20 points. Their disposal efficiency has been fantastic, but the Bulldogs need to begin taking more gambles if they're going to cause some damage on the scoreboard. Gets the loose ball. Fisher with handball running in for the goals now. Hasbolt puts it through. The Blues have the advantage on the scoreboard over the Western Bulldogs. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Big leap. Murphy gets the ball. My ball, says the umpire. Kruzik didn't even get close to that tap. The loose ball picked up. The umpire will give us another ball up. Kruzik punches it. The loose ball picked up. Kicked by Dale. Cleanly picked up. Somehow found more room on the boundary than Wayne Harms. Jones kicks. Doherty there to mop it up. He's got the footy in his hands. Choose to kick it. Cherno has it. Be decisive. Come on, be decisive. A wrong decision is generally less disastrous than indecision. 40 metres out. Petrevsky Seaton slams it on the boot. And the ball goes over the boundary line. Close to goal. The ball has been thrown in. Cruiser hits it. 
Wood played the awkward bounce. Look easy. He's got great hands. Hits the running man. McCraig again, Richard. He's been outstanding all match, Dan. Yet another possession. Has he? Yes, he's paid it. Look, the Bulldogs haven't been able to set up many shots of goal, but I'm not sure that's the Ford's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your Ford to kick a winning total that way. The mark will be paid. Boyd likes his chances for goal. He's missed it. Consolation goals are all they can hope for now. The defence are doing a decent job of making kicking out difficult, so I'd suggest he takes his time and just looks for the right option. Kept alive under pressure. Sorry I spoke too soon. It goes across the line. The Ruckman battle it out. Kruzik knocks it down the field. Is in his possession. Nice work from Simpson. Simpson. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. Fisher kicks it. Kerno claims the ball. He doesn't want to take too long lining this shot up. He boots it. Johannesson just wanted it more then. He boots it. Bontempelli having no trouble taking that one. Sends the Sharon on its way. Hunter claims the ball. Sends it on its way. Takes that one strongly. Murphy wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. Graham getting into position for the kick. Sending it on its way and the ball goes over the boundary line. And the umpire will throw it in. The ball is tapped. He picks it up cleanly. He's approaching the goals now. Straight into the post. Well, that's just another behind on the board. Carlton have the advantage on the scoreboard over the Western Bulldogs. Morris to bring it in. Marked by Petrevsky Seaton. 30 metres from home. Petrevsky Seaton likes his chances for goal. 15 metres out. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Carlton by 27. He looks for a man on the lead. Wood sticks out his hands and collects the ball. It's Edward Scissorhands. The ball mopped up. Grabs the footy. Booted by Roberts. Great grab. Sends the Sharon on its way. Great grab. When you look at the set shots at goal, there just aren't enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to mark. But the Western Bulldogs' forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. He slams that on the boot. Silvani handballs it, running in for the goals now. Hasbolt with the mark. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal in the side. Going for goal number three. He had perfect control over the ball right up until the minute he kicked it. The Blues are having trouble with their misses. He has a few options. He kicks it to himself. Picture perfect drop punt. Great mark over the pack. Johannesson sends the ball on its way. All of a sudden the ball has become a hot potato. Quickly disposed of by Hunter. It'll be tossed in from the boundary. The throw is accurate. Ruffhead directs it down. He has the ball. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Hunter kicks hard along the boundary line. What did they used to say at school? Butterfingers lets it drop. McLean approaching home now. McLean just gets it through. The Bulldogs are in real trouble now. The Ruckman, conscious of where their teammates are, they wait for the bounce. Batted down nicely by Roughhead. The umpire says, give it to me. Roughhead with the hit. Lobs the pass. Bicken has had plenty of it, Richo. I can't believe it, Dennis. He just keeps surprising us up here in the commentary box. Dalhouse with the shot. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. The Bulldogs are still a chance, given that this season we've seen teams blow more leads than Inspector Clouseau. Jones to bring it in. Plowman had it, lost it. Wietering is able to grab it on the half volley. Intercepted. He'll be happy with that. They're having a run for the lead now. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. Here's the bounce. Ruffhead outstretches his opponent to win the ruck. It'll be a ball up. Kruzik nicely outclassing Ruffhead. It's a loss for the Bulldogs. 
Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between the Blues and the Western Bulldogs? I'm a great believer in luck, and I found the harder I worked, the luckier I got. Hadn't thought of it quite like that, Richo. At the end of the match, Carlton over the Bulldogs, 69 to 54. Well, that's.